Hello and welcome, I am the Acoustic Gamer, and today I want to show you a little bit about the recalibration station, which allows you to re-roll stats on pieces of gear so you can better match your loadout. Alright, so here's how you unlock the recalibration station. As soon as you come into the base of operations, which is right here on your map, you should know this by now, alright, you're going to go straight ahead as soon as you walk into the tech wing. That's going to be for, up the stairs, up the stairs, and then straight ahead to the laptop. Come take a look. All right, and that's going to be down here, recalibration. And I believe it's uh, 200, uh, 200 credits, so unlock that. And notice on the bottom right-hand corner, that's the stat switch. Unlock item stat switching at the recalibration station. All right, and as soon as you do that, it's going to be right here. So if we go into recalibrate, we'll take a look at some of the gear and some of the options we've got. Let's just start with the uh, strike mask here since it's first. Um, I've got firearms, exotic damage resilience, blah, 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 blah. What you want to look at, on the right-hand side, you'll see the possible recalibrations. Notice I have... Hey, that's actually on the lower end 420 and four, uh, 514 is the range so that's probably the the stat if I were keeping this if this was something I was gonna keep for a while which I, I probably will um, I would want to reroll that most likely but let's take a look at some some of the other things so now this one exotic damage resilience critical hit chance is also a really big deal that's another option here's the problem you have to pick one as soon as you reroll something that's it. That's the only slot that you can re-roll. So whatever's on the right-hand side, that's the only other thing you can ever swap after you've re-rolled it. Another thing to keep in mind, for high-ends, on the bottom left there, you'll see the recalibration cost. For high-ends, it's Phoenix credits. But anything less than that is just going to be credits. So if I like go down to the purple one I have here, notice that switched over to credits. So go nuts on credits, you know, because they're everywhere. But right now, Phoenix credits are, are kind of rare unless you've been exploiting the game. The but uh, so just keep an eye on that. You probably don't want to go too crazy. Um, if it's something that you know you're going to swap out for a while, you might not want to do this. You know, you might want to wait and, and save it. So. Let's uh, let's take a look. We've also got um, scavenging, XP. Those are not bad. I think that these are going to be your main ones. Um, the like the critical hit chance, uh, changing firearm, stamina, electronics. Let's see what else we got. This, oh yeah, it's got the ability too, and you can actually some of these have the potential to roll for a mod slot. So which one did I have that was like that? Oh, it was right there. So for armor, I could swap out the armor for this and possibly roll for a mod slot. You would essentially just keep rolling until you get what you want. What's what's neat about this, if I go to, if I wanted to do this one here, you, you, press, you, just, you press and hold until it goes, so it gives you a little time to think about it. Um, if I were to re-roll this and I get, you know, various different stats there, I could keep what I have, the 432, or I could choose one of the new things. So if it had something that I want, I could swap over to that. If it doesn't have what I want, it will still have the cost of it, but you won't lose your stat. You can always keep what you have. If anybody has played Diablo 3, this is the exact same process. You go to that chick over in the corner, and you can re-roll everything. Uh, or you can re-roll an individual stat of each piece of gear that you have. And then once you've done that, you're locked into it. If you wanted, you'd have to basically replace that piece of gear, gear to have the, the full Check options like this. So keep that in mind. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do one here. Um, let's take a look. Let's see. Uh, that one's kind of on the high end of stamina. I, I really need the stamina at the moment. Now that's not bad. The I could swap the armor out for critical hit damage. That's a big one. Uh, here's the ability. That's a lot of abilities. So this one has a ton of options for abilities. You would make so if you picked one of these up, say you're not using first aid ally heal, say you're using something else. You essentially just roll until you got what you want. This is on the. This is actually just the lower end. Although 650 is not that bad, really. Hey, see what else? There's an, oh, this one has two. So this one's got double. It's got double the abilities to swap over. 
I think I'm gonna do those. Right now, I'm kind of just looking for stamina and health. Oh yeah, that's right, I did this one before. So this one, I didn't get what I wanted, so I just kept what I had. But notice everything else is grayed out. I can't re-roll anything else. I have to re-roll this individual slot. So it only costs Phoenix credits. Let's do it again. Now this was, uh, what was it, 1550 or something like that? What was it? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah 15500. 15,500. So if I go down to this, it's increased from 15,500 to 27,125. So it's going to increase every time. So let's re-roll it again. I've got a lot of credits, so. Let's see what we got. All right, so now I've got one that's a little bit higher stamina. I'm going to choose that one because that's higher. But if I wanted to swap over, say my electronics is low or my firearms is low, I could change it from stamina to one of those. That's a really good thing to look at if you were not, if you've got, say, a lot of people are going for DPS. You don't necessarily just want to max out your DPS because you'll ignore everything else. It, it, you want to try to achieve a bit of a balance for the most part anyway. So I'm going to go with 407 stamina, increase that. Yes. Now if I wanted to re-roll it again, I could do that. Notice the, the recalibration, what is it, it doubled it looks like? Um, so I could re-roll this again. And because I'm still kind of in the middle, this is 407 stamina. The max it would be would be 441. I don't mind rerolling that again. Um, nothing. So I gotta. I'm gonna keep what I have. And you pretty much just repeat this process until you get what you want. And this is how you spec out your gear so you can have the best possible stat for each individual uh, piece of gear. And this is how you're gonna do some of the higher end stuff later on. Yeah, same thing. So let's reroll it. Nothing. So now look at that. I just ate through all the credits for that. That was really fast. Uh, let's keep it. So now I, I don't have enough credits to, to re-roll that. That was really quick how it got through that. So keep an eye on that. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. As far as the basics go, you kind of just have to go through and, and play with some of the stats and see what really works best for you and how your character is set up. If you have any questions, feel free to put those in the comments. Also, if you have anything to add that maybe I didn't have in this video or didn't mention, uh, feel free to put those in the comments too. So that's all for now. If you like the video, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, and, and help support the channel. All right, guys, take it easy, and I will see you on the next video.